Well, congratulations, you have made it to February, the month of love. Now, I know you're probably thinking this is the month that we should be getting Valentine's for our significant others, our children, our parents, our friends, those gal pals of ours. And yes, those are all important things, especially given everything that we're going through right now, keeping those connections strong and making sure that the people around you know that they're loved is very important. So I thought I'd share with you today a few things where you can show your house a little love. So stick with me. I am going to go over seven hacks that every homeowner should know on how to keep their house a little cleaner. Hey y'all, I'm Christy on the Crystal Coast down here in Eastern North Carolina. And I'm here to share with you real estate advice, homeowner advice, and just general information about living on the beach in Coastal Carolina. Today, I thought I'd share with you seven different hacks that you can use in your household to keep it a little cleaner and show your house just a little more love. So let's get to number one. This one's a simple one and you may have thought about it before or maybe not, but I just thought I would share it with you again in case you're a new homeowner and you really haven't had to do much cleaning before. Uh, the first one is to use your hairdryer to clean your blinds. Those pesky blinds are such a pain in the butt to clean. Even if you get one of those little blind cleaner things, uh, it never really seems to work. So one of the best ways and the easiest ways to get the dust off of those blinds, which given that we've been inside and it's been winter time, the dust is probably building on them, is to just take your hair dryer, set it on the cool setting, and just blow away that dust. Bye bye dust. <laughs> the second one's another pretty easy one, and that is to freeze vinegar in ice cube trays. Now this is gonna serve two purposes. One is that the vinegar is going to help disinfect and clean out your garbage disposal as well as the uh, pipes going out of the house. But a second advantage to using this is that the ice cubes will also sharpen the blades in your garbage disposal. So whatever you do, don't go sticking your hand down there. You know what I mean. Number three is one of my absolute favorites and I've been doing this for years and that is to clean out your microwave, you just take a bowl of water and you stick a cut up lemon in there. You put the microwave on high for three minutes, let it sit for about a minute or two after it's done. And then you pull the bowl of water and lemon out and you just wipe it down with a cloth. It gets super shiny and clean. All that crud, junk, sticky stuff that gets on the top of the microwave gets wiped off. It, it shines one of my favorite hacks ever. You can also do this with a little bit of vinegar in the water, but I like the way that the lemon smells after it's done. Citrus is one of my favorites. The fourth hack might be a little more complicated for some people, but it definitely can help hide an eyesore. And that is to get a canvas to hang over your thermostat so it's not so obtrusive into your room. Most homes, whether they're new homes or old homes, the thermostat seems to be on some wall that's a really prominent wall and just sticks out like a sore thumb. So an easy fix to this is to go to Michael's or an art, Joanne's, another arts and crafts store and find a canvas and either you can get one that already has a print on it that you really like and hang that over your thermostat or, um, you know, get one and paint something on it that you like or, you know, do a decoupage project, who knows? You just wanna make sure that it's thick enough that it's going to cover your thermostat. So you're probably looking at something that's like two, two and a half inches thick. Um, and you can either just hang it on a nail over the thermostat and know that you gotta take it off to get to your thermostat. Or if you really wanna get fancy, you can do a piano hinge along the side of the canvas where you can just open the canvas and close it back over the thermostat. Either way, it brightens up an otherwise unattractive part of the house. Now on to number five, and this is a new one to me, and I will admit I haven't tried this one yet because right now I am not living with pets, although sometimes the amount of hair that falls on my floor just from my head is a little crazy. But 
it is said that you can use a squeegee like you would use in a shower stall or to clean your windows. You take this squeegee and you run it across your carpets in order to get all of your pet hair up off of the carpets. It seems reasonable and I've seen other people do it, so I thought I would share it with you guys too. Try it, let me know what you think. Tell me if it works or if it doesn't, or if you found some other uses for the squeegee after you got it. Now for the sixth pack, and this too could include your pets. It's to take a tennis ball, an old tennis ball. Maybe it's one that Bingo's been chewing up for a while. You might not want to use the one Bingo's been chewing up for a while, but either way, just get an old tennis ball. And if you have scuffs on your wooden floor, so if, um, you know, in the years past when we were wearing high heels or nice dress shoes, your floors got scuffed up from the heels hitting against the wood or something along those lines. You can take the tennis ball and you can just scrub it on that scuff and it will just magic eraser that thing away because you don't want to use a magic eraser on your wood floors. So the tennis ball is nice and soft, scrubs it away, and there you go. This one may not be necessary right now while we're all still kind of sitting at home and mostly wearing loungewear with no heels. But in the future, when you do go back to wearing those high heels, just remember that one. Tennis ball is your friend. So hack number seven is one that I use quite often because I don't have a dishwasher. And I use my blender fairly often to make smoothies. And I don't know about you, but it gets all that sticky gunk in there and it's really hard to get out and trying to scrub it and take it apart. And then I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut myself on the blades and I've had a friend who's done that. So don't want that to happen. So this little hack will save you a lot of those issues. Basically, when you're done using the blender, you keep it all put together, put a little bit of warm water in there, not super hot water, but warm water and a couple of drops of liquid detergent like Dawn, which is what I use and just blend it up for a bit. Um, you know, 30 to 60 seconds is probably good enough and everything gets clean. Done. Just rinse it all off and <laughs> you've got a clean blender. I think it may clean the blender even better than a dishwasher. Who knows? Let me know. Try a comparison. Since I don't have a dishwasher, maybe you can do the experiment for me. I'd love to hear which works better for you. So there you have it. Seven easy homeowner hacks that I hope you'll be able to put to good use. I'm glad you stuck around because I'm going to share with you a couple of more February bonus items to show your house a little more love. Number one is have your HVAC checked. At minimum, change out your filter. It's been a winter and we're all inside and your furnace is probably running quite a bit or your HVAC system and changing out that filter can really extend the life of your furnace. And not to mention, help everyone in the house stay a little healthier because you're cleaning out all of those allergens that are coming in and out of the house. And during the time of COVID, who doesn't wanna stay a little extra careful? And bonus number two, go out and get yourself some flowers or bring a green plant inside. It's been, on the Crystal Coast the past couple of weeks, it's been a little gray and dreary, so it's nice to have something living inside. I had just brought over my little aloe plant that you can see here on my coffee table, and I'm probably going to go out and buy a couple more house plants just to bring a little outside in for the next month or two. My last little bonus for showing your house a little love during the month of February is to go around and patch up holes and nail pops that you might have seen over the time. I know that we all get really busy and we'll see these things that just are constant irritations that you like, oh, God, I really have to get to that someday. Oh, and that, and that nail hole is driving me crazy. Well, take the time this month and maybe one day on one weekend and just go around the house and do your patch filler and just get a little, little thing of putty Go up there, fill those holes, sand them down a little bit and do a little touch up paint. Probably take you an hour at most to get that done. 
and it will feel like a huge relief off of your shoulders and the house will thank you too because then every time you look at those walls you won't be seeing the holes you'll just be seeing that beautiful wall thank you for staying till the end and i hope you got a little something out of this video i'd love to hear from you which tip was your favorite which one do you plan to use if you want to comment below and let me know i would appreciate it if this is your first time here and you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of them please hit that subscribe button below then you'll get notified every time that i drop a new video my videos are about homeowner tips living on the beach and all things real estate for eastern north carolina thank you again and hope to see you in the next video.